Times Square before the marathon. We have 20 minutes to get there before it opens. Let's rush. Hopefully that's not the entrance to the expo. There's a crazy line. We are going to see On Labs New York. We're a bit late, so rushing to the subway. We made it to the Nike pop-up. It's good. It's good to be good, you know what I'm saying? Did you hear that? Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> it's race day. We're shooting the elite. We're moving to the next location. Looks like the word at least on the But we need to cross the street. Let's try to make it. Is there a way to be on the other side? Well, back in New York, folks, it's been a year since the New York City Marathon last year. We ran it with Tim, Sandra, there was also Nico with us. And now, back with Julius, we'll see what we can show you of the city. It's exciting to be back, really exciting. <laughs> made it to the craft pop-up store here on Broadway. This is in Soho, so downtown. And yeah, we'll just check it out. Red looks really fast in all shoes. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, guys. All right, we have the shoe. It's the new Kai Pro by Kraft. We'll go unbox it, film it, create some content with it, and then go for a run. That's how it goes. So we are unboxing the shoe here in the street in New York. <laughs> do some B-roll and some, you know, reels with it. Ideally, you would want to do that nicely in the studio in Brussels, but it's not possible. This shoe is only in New York. We'll shoot it in New York and you'll see the reels from New York. By the way, this concept is inspired by Kafuzi's Runner's Weekend. Shout out to him. There's a link in the description to his channel and hopefully you like this concept on our channel as well. We just figured that there is this place called Le Botaniste. It's basically when we're in the office in Brussels, we order sometimes food and it's a place called Le Botaniste in Brussels and they have two spots, Brussels and New York. And by pure coincidence, we're in front of this place shooting our shoes and then I look up and I'm like, wait, what? Am I like completely tired and I'm like messing things up or is it exactly the same? And it's exactly the same. Crazy, free ad for you, Le Botaniste. <laughs> Brooks, kiss her in Max, it's up there. First dinner out in New York. What are we having, Julius? Uh, we're having burgers. All right, we just had food. It was good. And now we are headed for a dessert, going in the direction of Times Square. This actually reminds me of a picture that we had last year here. Times Square <laughs> before the marathon in 2023. Um, and here we are again, one year later, with a new Marathon PBE. Julius, how do you like it? It's your first time in New York. It's crazy, it's like all, it's extra, the screens everywhere, the people everywhere, the show, it's like totally crazy. Last quest for today, which is find dessert. banana and almond butter, everything I need for tonight. <laughs> no, seriously, like there is so much choice when it comes to cereal bars in a Whole Foods that I'm a bit lost. And I've tried already quite a few of them, but there's always new, new stuff and I'm curious. One bite review, very good. And this is it for today, now bedtime. Good morning, day two in New York. Uh, it's sunny, it's already quite, quite hot. I mean, it's November, it's the end of October and it's like 20 degrees Celsius. Let's have breakfast. Good luck. All right, 9.39, uh, day two here in New York. We're visiting the New York Marathon City Expo. We have 20 minutes to get there before it opens. Uh, let's rush. We made it to the expo, but there's a crazy line. We don't have to get any beep numbers, and there's a huge line for beep numbers. Hopefully, that's not the entrance to the expo. Let's see. This one left here. Okay, thank you. Everybody. So, the New York Marathon City Expo is one of the most gigantic you can find. And I've been to many expos at this time, uh, and this one is definitely by far the biggest one. So many people, the line was huge, but we don't have to get a big number, so we're just getting directly to the uh, expo area where we'll show you what there is to see. And first up, the New Balance area, which is always huge because all the official merch is from New Balance. SC Elite colorway, looking good. 10 ATV 14 colorway, looking good. Okay, first things first, let's go visit the ASIC stand because they have the new Nova Blast 5. We'll get a pair and we'll start testing it 
today. Yes, I, I follow you. I Thank follow you very much. Thank you. Pleasure nice to, to meet you. you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Here at the Adidas stand of the Expo, we have the Pro 4, the Evo 1 and the Evo SL all available for purchase. You're seeing this after New York, but hopefully you got a pair in New York. Thursday afternoon, we are going to see on labs new york it's the same setup or similar setup maybe with a few differences let's see as the one in paris in july yeah we're a bit late so rushing to the subway and we'll see you there alex yeah very nice to meet Sorry. you we made it to on labs new york this machine right here the light spray machine is in the US. Uh, nothing that different compared to the machine you saw in our On Labs Paris preview video in July at the Olympics. Uh, but hey, it's here, always nice to see. And if you're in New York, and in general, if you are somewhere where there is an On Labs pop up, they have plenty of pairs in different sizes. You can try them on and uh, see how nice the fit is for yourself. Quick coffee break, got some work done, and now we're going to the Nike pop-up store. There's some cool innovation to be tested and to be seen there, so we'll show you what's there. Uh, hopefully we won't get lost this time around. We got lost uh, in our previous commute, and uh, yeah, let's go. We made it to the Nike pop-up. It's actually called Athlete Services, but it's open to the public, so I'm really curious what's inside. Let's go check it out. <laughs> it's, good. It. it's good to be good, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Brooklyn, New York, but I represent Nike. This is the recovery boot, you know what I'm saying? Straight from Nike. This is a prototype. Did you hear that? Oh, wow? <laughs> oh, wow? Oh, wow? Oh, wow is good. I wouldn't even add. It's good. <laughs> All right, we just visited the Nike Athlete Services here in New York uh, for the New York City Marathon. And I'm going to show you quickly the two products that I was able to try. First off, we had the Nike recovery boots here. Really wild experience. This is going to release in 2025. It's definitely something that you're using for recovery only. You can walk with it, however, which makes it different compared to the other recovery boots that you have on the market. It has compression, but also uh, heat. So you basically get uh, that massage effect, but also that warm, uh, relaxing feeling, which I wasn't a huge fan of because I, I tend to run hot in my, um, in my feet and this was a bit too warm for me. But yeah, here you have it. It's gonna release in 2025 and it's definitely a crazy innovation. But then the second shoe I got to try is here. It's the Nike Pegasus Premium that will also release in 2025. We have a full preview video available right here that we just released. It's crazy, it's wild. The first uh, few strides I did with this shoe gave me just hopes and high expectations for uh, next year when this shoe releases. I was very happy that I could try it and um, now we need to rush because it's already dark outside and we have some more stuff to do. Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex Sint. The Asics Nova Blast is a... It's almost impossible to shoot a review in the streets of New York because every street is getting super crowded and there's a lot of people passing by in front of the camera. I'm losing my concentration and you need to be super focused when you're reviewing a shoe. Anyways, we're looking for a different spot. Uh, let's go. <laughs> right, um, we finished shooting. Nova Blast 5 review, first impression review. Now let's go to Central Park for a run. Not decided yet which shoe I'm gonna use, but it's race day tomorrow, so maybe I should save my legs for tomorrow. Although it's a fun race, not really like a, you know, major A goal or anything. There you go, Julius, what's going on? Lots of shooting and a big day ahead of us. We thought it would be fun to take you for a room tour. So we'll show you um, our room here in New York, which is not really a room, it's a pod. A pod is basically a small room. And by small, I mean very, very small room. Bathroom, New York view. Double decker, king size, but not king size beds. CEO office, multi-million dollar wardrobe. And this is it. I mean, it, it's a short tour because it's a short place. So, but you know, price-wise, it's um, as expensive as a monthly rent in Brussels, even much more expensive than that. It's about the price of 10 alpha flies. The weather is absolutely phenomenal. It's very windy. Um, and I just had a fantastic run on the Empire State Trail. So that's on the Hudson River. And now we're headed for lunch. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, we're back at the expo and the reason is that my bib collection is actually at the expo, but I didn't know yesterday it was at the expo, so we're back at the expo. Also, pro tip, if you want to skip the lines or if you want to avoid people at the expo, apparently Friday 7 p.m. seems to be a good time to collect your bib number. Saturday, race day for me, 5K. We'll show you some footage, but if you want to see the full story, there's a dedicated race vlog, and this is now crossing on the red light. <laughs> right here, upper right-hand corner, go check it out. I was not in the right around. It's really tight, lots of people. My heart rate went up significantly. It's becoming really hard. 400 meters to go, maybe there is a chance to get a PB. Good morning, it's Sunday, race day, marathon day here in New York. It's much colder than the previous days, around four degrees Celsius. Good conditions for racing, I guess. And now we're heading to the race course. We'll be at kilometer 25 and 40, and we're shooting the elites today. So stay tuned with us. We're taking you on this uh, journey, this shooting, shooting journey today. The race just started and we're a bit in a rush. We just exited the subway at Lexington Avenue and we're walking towards kilometer 25 of the race. We'll see first the elite women and then the elite men, but now we need to rush to be there. Editing quickly. Yeah, editing, uploading, moving to the next location. Let's go. We're moving to the next location. At the same time, working on some pictures being uploaded to the rest of the team in Europe to get some content on the internet. That's how we roll. But Juicy has some running shoes on today, right? Yeah. Uh, is there a way to be on the other side? Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, we might have the perfect spot, uh, but we need to cross the street, which is obviously the marathon course. Yeah, let's try to make it. I'm not sure because the women are already here in one case, so probably like three minutes and 10 seconds. Yes. Race day is always uh, terrific in terms of organization. Crazy battles also at the end of the, of the two women's and men's races. We captured as much as we could. We enjoyed New York. Thank you so much for watching this uh, New York vlog. We're gonna get one last US typical meal here and then flying back home. Thanks a lot for watching and see you very soon. Mm -hmm.